Welcome to the Arizona Wildcats show brought to you by Fry's Food Stores. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley. We went out to Arizona football practice on Wednesday, talked to Anthony Lopez and Paul McGlore as they prepare for Saturday's game against number 10 Utah. So what's the senior week? What's this uh, kind of like for you? Are you been reflecting a little bit on your, on your time here or anything like that? Or yeah, like definitely. That? I yeah. mean, uh, it's been a great experience. It's uh, ready, ready to go out there for the last time with all, all the seniors and uh, get a win out there. What, what sticks out about Utah and office? I know, I mean, Booker is a guy that's hard to bring down. I mean, what do you have to do to contain him, I guess? Um, wrap him up. He's a really hard runner. I mean, he keeps his feet moving all the time. So uh, definitely getting guys with the ball and just wrapping him up, getting him on the ground. Will was pretty emotional on Monday. I mean, is it emotional talk to you guys and guys just kind of coming down the wire? Yeah, definitely right now when Coach Rod just uh, told us the whole thing about us last time going out, it's kind of emotional. You know, I feel like you, know, you never get to your last time, but now it's finally here, so it's a little emotional. You've been through a lot of personally, just kind of the coaching change and coming in, kind of getting into roles. I mean, uh, what's this past four years been like for you? Um, it's been the best time of my life. I mean, I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, these coaches here, the players here, I mean, it's been the best time of my life. Are you kind of looking forward to getting another shot at upsetting somebody? Because I know you guys, against ranked teams, you guys struggle a little bit. This is your last chance to go against a top-10 team and, and upset them. Is that some, maybe mo- more motivation? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I thought about that, too. Uh, we've upset a top-10 team every year we've been here. So it's our last chance to get it, so might as well uh, go out there, play as hard as we can, and get the upset. Is that more of a motivator to make every Saturday? Yeah, know? definitely, especially this one for our seniors. You know, it's their last time playing on the home field over here, you know, coming out in Tucson, coming out in our smoke, you know, stuff like that. So we definitely want to, you know, play hard, not just because the last home game or, you know, we just got two more games left, but definitely for the seniors. How much more important is it that this is a top 10 team coming in? Uh, I mean, it's definitely important, but I feel like every game is important. It's not just, you know, hey, they're a top 10 team, you know, now we got to turn it on. Every every game, you know, up to this point has been important. It seems like they've been taking it a little bit easier on you guys in practice the last few weeks. Does that help on? Um, yeah, Saturday? definitely. You know, more. You know, you got fresh legs and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I mean, especially you no know, bye week. You know, you don't get that week off that other teams get, where like you get that week off and everybody's just hungry to come back. You know, mm-hmm. so it makes a big difference. You know, getting these you know rest days. And Coach Rod does a good job knowing what his players are feeling, not just you know, you know, some coaches they don't really know like how their players are feeling, but he definitely like, talks to us and and tries to figure out how how we're feeling and. How our bodies feel and stuff. Of these seniors, who who's it going to be hard to watch do senior day stuff? Definitely will, man. You know, I mean, even though you know now I'm playing linebacker, but I'm, you know I've always been with the safeties and you know all off season, you know, being over there with them and in the film room and summer and stuff like that. He's been in my workout groups, you know, since I got here. So I definitely will, you know. And he's a, he's a guy who definitely goes out there, you know, works his butt off and and tries to lead by example. And he really cares about, you know the team and, 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 you know, us winning and not just, you know, uh, himself, but, you know, everybody individually as well. He cares about him. I'm pretty sure he knows everybody's name on the team. So, Did you watch that video of him Monday? Uh, yeah, I actually tried to give him a little crap about it, you know, for him crying. But, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, uh, yeah, I, I saw a little bit. Uh, you know, you feel for him like that. You know, he, he's worked so hard for this. It means a lot to him, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. The fact that you guys are underdogs against the top 10 team, is that a motivator? Or can you play a little bit nah. more free and easy? Or no? Nah, we always play hard. I mean, that's one thing, you know, everybody has to know that and when they watch us on, you know, Saturdays and stuff like that and, mm-hmm. and watch us on TV, TV, like, we're out there playing hard and giving our all. So it's not like a game, ever a game where we go out there and, you know, we're not going hard or if it's just a, a good team. Like, we're always going hard. We're always giving our all for Arizona. Sure. How close were you guys to beating USC? Uh, I mean, shoot, you guys saw it on the film. You know, we were pretty close, but close don't count. So, you know, it's a new week, so now it's, you know, lock in on Utah. You know, forget about last week and, you know, try to win the next game. Try this matchup, low prices and faster checkout. You can count on it at Fry's.